Hello, my name is Ashley Dent, and I have created the project called Preparing Dixie High School Students for College Digitally. Today, I will be introducing you guys to the project's website, as well as a tutorial on how to navigate the website. This video is subjected to those um, internal and external meaning parents, students, or faculty staff. This website is useful and benefits you for more information about what the project is and how it will be completed. So as we are on the home page, we will scroll down and we will see the motives of the project, which is a brief summary as well as what is Canvas, and Canvas is a big part of this project, so I wanted to include a little brief information about what Canvas is. As we go to the About page, we will find more information about the building case for this project. I have included a story, not a story, but a little summary of when I was a Dixie High School student and how I had to use paper for everything. And Dixie did not provide laptops for any of us. So if we did have laptops, we were only given um given at a certain time and this is just a little brief summary on more of that subject and how i created this project or why i created this project moving on we're going to talk about the project documents the project documents is important for all um stakeholders that be internal and external so here we're going over the basics meet the staff how does the school work now? This is just a flow chart of what the school work, I mean, how the school is working without this project. And then this is a flow chart of how the school will work with the project implanted. Moving on, I have created a visual aid of the project risk as well as more information on the risk management plan which is an excel document sheet that you have to open separately this is this just allows you to find more information and such as scenarios and how to dispute conflicts moving on we will see how we will see the NAT chart, which is a method and a schedule of how the project will be completed. You have to open this link through another Excel worksheet, which you will find more information about who is doing what, when are they doing it, as well as a schedule. I have also included another chart um, of the waterfall method, which will be mainly based on. We have five stages, and each stage has more information about what will be achieved and what is required. This is important for internal stakeholders to get a grasp of what the project is and how it will be completed but it's also important for external stakeholders as they will know for their children about how um, this project will benefit them as well as what is going on to help the teachers create and learn about this canvas platform Moving on, we will talk about the budget. As you see, this is a visual aid of the budget, how much it is, or how much the budget is, and then the actual budget and what that money is going towards to. As we move on, we will see the communication plan, which is very important for all stakeholders that be internal and external. For each stakeholder they will find the reason for communication why we need to communicate to them and 
as well as their likely stance on the project and how they can help out for this project, as well as an approach for communication. I feel like this is an important aspect of the project's website because they can find useful information in this page as well as the stakeholder management plan. This is just a brief summary that overviews the project goals and constraints that might limit the success of the project as well as um, conflict scenarios that could dispute these, prom these problems. <laughs> Lastly, I have added a contact to me page. This contact me page is important for all stakeholders if they need to ask questions or maybe even add suggestions. Anything and everything is appreciated and I wanted to make a separate page on this website where they can say, hey, look how easy it is. I can contact Miss Ashley Dent and ask her a question about this project. Also included a contact me page in, at the beginning of the page, just so they don't have to do, they can do one less extra step just in case. Overall, I hope this website is functional and useful to your knowledge of this project. And again, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, please, please leave me a message and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.